Alright, so I am back in Minneapolis. Trying to figure out what to do before the Timberwolves game tonight. Alright, just getting out of the Minneapolis St. Paul airport. And uh, I am riding the train in Minneapolis. I'm going to go to the Mall of America, check out the aquarium there, and then uh, go to the Timberwolves game later tonight. So, yeah, it's a good day. Brave the rainforest. But, 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 what in the world is going on around here? What is this stuff? What? And where am I? What happened? What in the world? I thought I had a basketball game I had to get back to tonight. What in what? You know, rainforest with some fish? What? Will someone please explain to me what is going on around here and where I am? Alright, truth be told, I'm actually in freezing cold Minneapolis, Minnesota at a mall. I'm at the Mall of America. Right now, I'm inside this aquarium so yeah it's looking really cool so far I just walked in so just checking out yeah I'm at uh, the sea life I think I think it's called the sea life aquarium in Minneapolis and I actually bought a one-year membership because it was only like seven or eight more bucks to buy a membership the membership was like 27 28 bucks and I was like yeah what the heck I'll probably be back here at least one more time so I was like might as well just buy a membership and come back at least once more, so yeah. Yeah, just checking it out here. So pretty cool so far. And looky what I have spotted here. Wow. Just look at this thing, there's another one right there. See his head poking out. This guy's head poking out right here. He was scratching his face a little earlier and I was like, sheesh, that might hurt because he's got some claws on him but he just kept scratching it one side and then the other so yeah pretty cool place here mall of america uh sea life uh, aquarium is where i'm at so yeah man his eyes just he looks so focused look at the teeth on that thing sheesh So I'm at the Mall of America in Minneapolis and this box right here of, uh, you can see Allen Iverson and Jay-Z right there of Topps trading basketball cards. I bought that box years ago and it's collecting dust in, a, in the basement. Like I have this same box, I can prove it later. Like it's crazy this, and then they're like reselling this box right now. So my box of the basketball cards might be worth something. Well, look, this is pretty embarrassing for the Timberwolves to mess up. 14-15, rookie of the year, Andrew Wiggins, and then 15-16, rookie of the year, Andrew Wiggins. Yeah, whoever did that uh, messed that up. Z P. This is a correct one, 14-15. I'm at the Target Center, home of the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, we got a Timberwolves game tonight hosting the San Antonio Spurs, and... Look who we got right there, assistant coach for the San Antonio Spurs, the great Tim Duncan. Uh, in my opinion, I mean, he's got to be, I don't know where you put him, maybe top 7 to 10 player to ever play the game. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool that he's here and he's working with uh, Spurs power forward, LaMarcus Aldridge. Aldridge has been an all-star several years, so just there working with him on his game pregame. I'd seen Duncan do this uh, the other week in Atlanta when it was a Spurs-Hawks game. So yeah, pretty cool. In the presence of greatness out here. What a cast of stars. Assistant coach, the great Tim Duncan. Marcus Aldridge has made the All-Star team several times, and DeMar DeRozan has made the All-Star team several times. Wow. Greatness right there.
All right, I'm in Minneapolis, Timberwolves hosting the Spurs. We're at the start of the third quarter. Close game. Minnesota's up 66 to 61. Pizza right here. Anything for balling. All right, I've been eating some of the food and I got more food right here. And uh, I got about a 26 minute walk in the freezing cold to my Airbnb. All right, so I'm walking back to my Airbnb uh, from the Target Center. And uh, about 15 minutes ago, uh, a guy's yelling out and it's pretty close to my direction. F you, F you. And so I'm like, I'm getting out of here quick. So I just kept walking quick and then starts darting over. And then I see where he's going to. He's going to another guy. And then he, he goes, uh, you can't effing hear me. Uh, give, give me the effing money or something like that. Something like give me the effing money is I think what he said. So I was like, I didn't get a video of it, obviously, because I was like, I'm getting out of here quick. But, but yeah, these streets be rough out here and snowy Minneapolis so I'm just trying to get to my Airbnb real quick and call it a night. This is a good Airbnb. We got Sierra here which I've been craving so bad. It's gonna be good. That was a close call. I had a 33 minute walk to get to my bus. I was running behind so I had to like jog it. I started to jog on the ice but I made it here just the next time. Now I'm heading to Milwaukee for Bucks game. And how do I go to so many basketball games? Saving savage skills. Bought two burritos at Taco Bell for a dollar each. So two dollars and whatever for tax, 19 cents, 219 or whatever it was. 440 calories each. 880 calories for a little more than two dollars. That is saving savage skills. Brought to you by yours truly, Jeff Naser. Anything for balling. And I'm somewhere in Wisconsin, and I don't even know where. We're getting going from Minneapolis to Milwaukee. Got a little break on the bus right now. 
just getting off the bus and welcome to Milwaukee for me. Alright, I'm in freezing cold Milwaukee, Wisconsin and I got about a 20 minute walk over to Pfizer Forum for the Milwaukee Bucks game tonight. So it's my first time watching uh, Milwaukee Bucks home games so it should be a lot of fun. Pfizer Forum, home of the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, this is why I came here to Milwaukee. Starting lineup for the Bucks for Bucks game. All right, Milwaukee, it's time for the Revenue of the Lights out moment for player introductions. So if you downloaded that Bucks app, it's time to activate it. We need to see everybody's flashlight in the air right now. Get them up, get them up, get them up. Let's go. Get those flashlights in the air, Milwaukee. This is Alabama. Rivers of Time. Andre Tony Burns, Field Artillery. Give me a big shot.
travels to already called minute 16 into the third quarter on my reporting. And they say they don't call travels in the NBA. Actually, they do, people. Just watch the games. I'm leaving Pfizer Forum. Got about a 25 minute walk over to the uh, Wendy's because the Bucks won. There's a deal over there, so good savings for me because I'm a saving savage. And then I got this uh, Milwaukee Bucks beanie free. They were giving them away to the first, like, I don't know, 10,000 fans or something like that at the game. So yeah. But it is very cold out here. My All right, so unfortunately for me, the Taco Bell was closed. But it looks like I can do some of this walk indoors, maybe. Dang, let's do that tunnel. It stops there, so maybe not actually. Dang, I mean, look. All right, just getting on the bus. I'm leaving Milwaukee, going back to Minneapolis. Probably too dark to see, but there's an outlet right here in just this back corner, and it's easier to sleep in the back corner, so thank goodness I got the back corner. I can charge the phone too, so yeah. Which one, uh, what time is it, 1.45 a.m. Should be in Minneapolis by 8.45 a.m., so I'm falling asleep, calling it at night, so yeah. So I'm at the Mall of America in, I think it's Bloomington, Minneapolis. And uh, the amount of stuff here, I mean, it's incredible. I mean, just look at this place. Like, wow. Absolutely incredible. Oh, I thought that was an actual person there. And then when he didn't move for a bit, I just saw him move there. I was like, maybe it is a person. No, it is just a robot right there. But, look like a person, but yeah, these rides over here, these are crazy. Inside the Mall of America. over here. Mall of America, right here. <laughs> All right, I'm back at the uh, aquarium in the Mall of America. I bought a year pass here for like 27 or 28 bucks. It was only like seven or eight more bucks than uh, buying a day pass. So I was like, well, how much I'll be back at Mall of America. I might as well just pay a little extra for the year pass. I got a deal on it. So yeah, so yeah, just looking inside this uh, cave at the animals in the water. Pretty cool, pretty cool indeed. We got a turtle coming in hot. I repeat, a turtle coming in hot. To get a close up on him. There he is. Just look at that guy move. Wow. We got an up close of this turtle. An up close of this turtle. Wow. Look at this guy. Look at this guy swim. Oh my. What elegance of this turtle. Wow. Look at him go. He's going. He's going. He's going up. He's going up. 
the turtle was going on, and that turtle was going to the other side. How about that? How about that? But when one turtle leaves, another comes to replace him. It's all part of the great circle of life. Here comes this turtle. Turtle coming in hot. Turtle coming in hot. Just gotta avoid this guy right here. Oh, it's his head on him. Darts through and he is going over to the other side. He's going over to the other side. Along with this guy right there. This guy's going to this side. That turtle is going to that side. That fish is going to that side. size of that turtle. Wow. See the sea turtle? Turtle coming in hot. Turtle coming in hot. It's crossing over to the other side. We have another song of war to do animal talks every hour on the hour. So the next one coming up is a black What a mystical land this is. Just did fly over America. It's legendary. Alright, back in Minneapolis, Timberwolves Wizards were just underway. Thomas got the start tonight. I'm leaving the Target Center. The game is over, and usually I'd walk, but it is so cold out there, I'm pansying out. I'm taking an Uber.